Hi, I'm Zareen Khan, and I welcome you to my show, Spices and Secrets. Today, I'm going to let you on a lot of my cooking secrets, because I truly believe the more I share these secrets with you all, the more our bonds of love will grow. Cooking has been a very integral part of our family life. We cook for all occasions, whether be it Eid, be it uh, Christmas, New Year, and hosts of parties, etc. And you won't believe from the time I have been married, our cooking fires have not even been closed for a single day. And that speaks for a very long time. Even when we are on holidays, food is cooked in large quantities in our house for our large staff who through the years have become just like members of our own family. Sanjay truly believes that if we have more and more people in our home eating from our cooking, then it's like barkat, bringing barkat in the house. Today, two of our close family friends are joining us for lunch. But before that, come, let's go into the kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how we make a very tasty and delicious moong dal khichdi. This khichdi is usually combined with our tomato birchi gosh, which our guests are going to eat after we have this ready. So the first step is take the pan and open the lid and put some pure ghee in it. So we are going to do just that. Before the ghee heats up, we also have to put in some of this elaichi, dalchinis, and some lavang, as they say. And now one has got to wait for all this to heat up properly. In the meanwhile, I shall cut the onions. Making khichri is also an art. The rice has got to be separate when it's finished, and the look has got to be very appetizing. So we are ready to go along with it now and we pour all this into this dish. We pour this, the onions, to keep frying it. Now, while we are waiting for the onions to become transparent, we put in this bowl half a kg of rice, along with quarter kg of moong dal, which is washed previously and kept aside and we mix this properly and add some water in it. Water should be about an one and a half inch to be exact, higher than the rice. So this is the water that we add here and we keep on filling the water till it goes to about an inch and a half high. In the meantime, the onions have got ready and it's the right time to put in the rice. And we have to add some salt and a little bit of haldi powder. And we mix all of it together and let one steam. Close the lid and let it give one boil. We use the haldi powder to give it the yellow color because then it'll look good because we are going to put some other little colors on it. So when it comes out, it looks appetizing and not just plain white. Khichri goes well with both vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. And it's also, you can eat it plain because there's pure ghee put into it. And of course, then the flavors of the spices and everything is mixed together and the onions. So, Eventually, it turns out to be a really very tasty dish. Now we are going to see, let the boil come and then add on when the water is sort of evaporated. The boil comes, then we put in the rest of the ingredients and let it cook slowly and steadily till all the water disappears. You know, this khichri is not a mashy mashy kind. All the grains will be separate and it will be almost like a palau. Sometimes you can even put vegetables in there and that, that becomes like a vegetable khichri or you can eat it on its own. So there are very variety of whatever you want to put. You can put tomatoes in it, you can put beans in it, 
But anything, anyway, I think it's going to be almost ready. So let's have a look. Wow. Put the final touch with a little coriander on it. And a little of the pudina, pudina leaf to give it that whiff. And a few whole chilies this time without slits. Just kept like this. See how it looks now. And we close the lid and reduce the flame to something very, very slow for about another five minutes. And the khichri will become like a palau and delicious that you want to just dig in right there and then. That is the khichri that goes along with my tomato mirchi gosh or even a plain alu ka bhurta. Anything for that matter. You can have it like a vegetarian dish with some vegetables or you can have it with some curry. Whatever you wish. I think the khichri is almost ready. It's smelling so good that I want to dig into it right away. Look, and if you were here, you would have literally got the aroma. Looking so good. The dish is already filling up. I guess this is it. And if you want to add a little bit of more excitement to the dish as far as the looks go, then you can add even a little more of the coriander just for a little bit of cosmetic look. So this is the Khan Khichri ready to be eaten. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. And if you've missed anything, here's the recap. For moong dal khichdi, in a pan, add two tablespoon ghee, four to five green cardamoms, two to three cinnamon sticks, four to five cloves, two sliced onions and let it fry. Now, in a bowl, add 500 gram washed rice, 250 gram washed moong dal, water as required and mix well. Add the rice and dal mixture to the pan and mix well. Add salt to taste, half teaspoon turmeric powder and mix evenly. Cover with the lid and let it cook. Now, sprinkle some freshly chopped coriander, mint leaves and 4 to 5 whole green chilies and cook it for 2 minutes. Garnish the dish with finely chopped coriander and serve hot. Your moong dal khichdi is ready to be served. We'll come back for the next recipe with a very special friend who's very close to the family. So we'll be back, don't go away, after the break.